Okay, so I've got uh, 2.30, and Mark told me, just a minute. Mark said that Bill's on with the, our payroll system people, and so he, he'll either be late or he may not make it. So I think we can get started. Uh, Georgetta, if she can get on her phone and get it correct, she'll be in a few minutes. So, um, so and most of everybody knows here, because Marilyn's the re, uh, reporter, or court recorder, um, we passed the PTO policy and we passed the street and water department increases. And I asked Pam Krieger, you see on there, to join us because she's the person that has uh, done all the job descriptions for us and she is getting, she's waiting to update the handbook, which she said will be done very quickly. She was just waiting for the final version. So we should have that, but we wanted to, Mark and I've been talking about this other survey was two years old. And um, so we want to update that just as a point of reference for, for us and for the town council. and and everybody else. And so um, Mark and I are gonna get together and then we're gonna talk to Pam. And uh, she said that she would uh, let us know, she'll give us an estimate of what it would cost for her to do it. And uh, then we'll get it approved by the council. Does that sound okay? Yes. Okay. Um, Mary, let me go, go back one second onto the sure. policy talk. Pam's on with us. Once Pam finalizes her portion of the work in that, can I make a recommendation that we get it out to the full council, to the employees in that, and then just have everybody who chooses to go through it, go through it before the council does the final approval, just in case any questions or anything come up, um, rather than you know getting it to the council and then having to make changes later. Um, maybe we'll see if anybody has any input or that. Thoughts? I like that. Pam, is that, uh, you'll have to unmute, you have to unmute yourself, Pam. Unmute yourself. Okay. Did I? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, that's fine. I think what you're asking is for a final draft. Maybe? Yes. What, once you're done with everything. Because I can yeah. do that. And that way I'm not going to get confused with it, what we really want and what we send out. And people can write on it or do whatever they want. And then give it back to me or have your discussions, whatever. Um, so... I mean, I hadn't planned on that, but I know we talked about it before. And so I'll just, as soon as I can, which should be relatively shortly, I'll have that ready. Okay. I was just waiting for final policies that I didn't have to do it twice. And, right. Uh, so I'll send it out, but it'll be a draft form. So it's not for publication in, in you know, it's not the final, um, if that's fine, you know. Yeah, we want to get a time limit. Are you going to give it to everybody and then say, "Hey, you got to get this back because this right. is just for you to review"? My, Maybe uh, it won't be a lot. I don't know. My goal, I'd just like to recommend that we get it out so the council has at least till say March first, and then um, they can vote on it at the March meeting. That'll give them plenty of time. It'll give them almost four weeks to go through it. I just don't want the council to feel rushed that, you know, they got to go through everything in three or four days. We can get it to them in advance and then set a goal for uh, them voting it in in March. And then the effective date can be, uh, you know, March of this year. Right. So so basically, as soon as date we can have on that, I, I mean, originally it was set for January 1st. So I'm going to change our uh, headers and footers to March 1st, right? And also yeah, all the policy, be. all the policy statements. I, well, the, the new ones, especially like the PTO and and that one, they all those policy statements had a January one twenty two date on it. Do you think we need to revise that, Mark? I think for the PTO, since it was, we did vote on it, but it was the end of January. We should leave the January first date on that. But then that way we will know with this draft when we find we did the final review on that. Does that Mary Lou, Bill, um, well, I don't know. Bill mentioned to me that on the previous handbook back in 2017 when the council approved it, that mm -hmm. you also did a resolution with it as well. Is that true? Mm -hmm. I, 
don't we there was no a on the council at that time there was a resolution if i recall i was thinking the resolution was actually for the policies but okay i know yeah, I well, go. you know what? Uh, let's don't take time to do that, Mark. Let me let's let her since he's he requested March first, but we know the PTO policy was effective in January. Let's let's see. Okay, Bill's coming on and Georgetta. So until I can find out, let's let's table that, and uh, she can still. Oh, I think I got someone else. Wait a minute. Bill. No, I think we're good. Okay, so let's table that and we'll I'll find out because um, the policy coincides with the handbook and there's just a few changes on that. Mm -hmm. Does that sound? Most of the policies don't have any changes other, most of the policies others don't have any changes other than the language a little bit, you know, and uh, uh, well, I think we made I'm, some we made some uh, Instead of, didn't Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, instead of saying he, we did some like gender neutral. Right, right, yeah. all, through, all the policies and the handbook will do the same. Right, so we updated all of that. Yeah. So it's just, it's just uh, housekeeping for that. So um, Bill's here now, do you want to ask, Mark, you want to ask him? Uh, we're fixing your bug. <laughs> Bill, Bill, remember when um, we previously talked about once we finished the policies, the updating in the handbook, there was a resolution back in 2017, correct? We should probably do that again once we have the council accept the updated um, changes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then Pam, in your work product, with your work product, is there an employee acknowledgement sheet in there or should we just yeah. create one? You yes. have one? No, I have one. So we'll have everybody um, sign that and then we'll put yeah, it in Yeah, we there. have a procedure for that. Very good. And then we'll keep one on their, in their uh, files, Mark. You and I will make right. sure. It's just saying that they received it. It doesn't say that they agree with it. Okay. Yes. All right. I'll send that out to you right away. You can take a look at it and see okay. if you want to change it. I mean, it's, it's very uh, lawyer friendly. <laughs> For lack okay. of a better word, I mean, I, I did a lot of research a while back on that, and I think what we have, I don't think we need to change, but I'll send it out to you guys today, if I can. Um, if you get an email from me, just make sure that you tell me you got it. I still okay. have no problems. That'll be, no, that'll be fine. Um, the second one was, and this is, uh, Pam's been helping us with this. And it's the part-time building commission secretary. And I did get approval at the Monday night meeting for us to advertise for it. Um, so I also think that we need to decide on a rate of pay. And I was, Bill, I'm just thinking out loud, loud with you. When we hired that outside person to help with the minutes, did we set her rate at 1650? Yes. Does that sound right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. So now I, this is, I'm just thinking out loud with you guys, because I saw in the job description that this person would, um, would they be in the office once a week to do the, some of the record keeping? Well, what we've talked about on that one, Mary Lou, is to, is to, um, you know, would take a lot of burden off. We have that, we have that room three, which is, you know, which is being actually the, the, the building department, you know, we have a $10,000 a year fee, which is probably a little high for that, but we, but, but we realize that they bring in some money so we could, so it's a cost transfer, but, but we actually charge rent for that room. So that room is, is there owned by the building department. And obviously nobody ever uses it and everything is being zoomed, but they've got, they've got, they've got room in there. We could put a, another desk in there if we need to and everything else. So what we had thought about doing was maybe even besides having the person be available at some point in time and, and we could control their hours, but then have them come in Monday and Wednesday, nine o'clock to one o'clock. Or something like that, just as a that's just random, and and have the builders go over there, because part of the job, the, the problems that we have with 
is sometimes the builders, uh, you know, they, they, they either don't read very well or they don't choose to read. And so they come in and they ask questions and that takes as much time as filling out forms and everything. So somebody could be there and, and you know, and it would take some learning. But if, uh, you know, if Joe wanted to go in there and work with them for a while, that would be something that they could do then. And just is, tell there, is there a landline in there? I don't believe so, but I think, I mean, we could get a cell phone for that person. I, you know, I mean, that's another... Well, I my up. thought was, I think that would be wonderful if Joe wouldn't mind doing that, but I also think they could learn a lot from Deanna. Oh, sure. Sitting, yeah. you know, in the beginning, being there with Deanna to learn about that, because she knows a lot of, she's a very good record keeper, and uh, yeah. oh, no, I, I think that would be helpful. Okay. Fine. I mean, she just so Pam, we'll get you'll get the job uh, advertised for us. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. You saw. You all saw that job description. I told. I totally. I worked with Joe with that, and his focus really for that for the to start out was with the minute taking, which is a, a Microsoft Word situation, and these uh, spreadsheets that they do. There's two different spreadsheets that they do, and that's where the most time is going to be spent in keeping up the spreadsheets and doing the minutes, whatever they are, and uh, I, I would expect maybe do agendas as well. I'm not sure, but... Um, I, I think that's important. Right now you have to realize, I think Larry Wall's doing most of that. So did Larry get back with you too? I haven't heard from him. Okay. You did send it to him though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. He communicated with Joe. Larry okay. communicated back with Joe. And he said the only he thought it was fine, but he wanted to be sure that he and Joe were both involved in the internet process. Oh perfect. That was his, that was his concern. That's great. The other okay. thing is I right now, if I understand this and I do listen in on the building commission meetings. I think Larry does the minutes and he does the agendas and that's very time consuming. Mm -hmm. So um and I think it would be helpful for Deanna if we had somebody that knew about the building uh, things and she, that person could then have that own job. But I kind of like that Monday and Wednesday from nine to one. That's not a bad job. Uh, just, you know, because the, otherwise they come in uh, you know, at all, you know, whenever they choose. And, you know, I think you could, you could, you could get them on a schedule. That's what, well, and then the other thing is, if they're waiting for somebody to come in, they could work on the minutes and the agenda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So we, we're good on that, Pam? Yeah. I've got the job description. Every, I haven't had anybody want to change anything, so okay. I'll go ahead. It'll just be a line ad. Okay. I think. That's perfect. And we, can, we can post it on the website if you want. Yes. Uh, now I'll give. You, I'll tell you who to contact. We, Meg Collins does all of our uh, okay. posting for us. Um, do you do you know her? I think that's about. Um, I I think so. Okay, she's the part time BZA at ATC. Yeah. 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 Okay, that sounds great. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to let the chief talk about the health insurance update because I'm going to tell you I'm really. Uh, after we had our HR meeting in December, if you'll remember, the chief had requested that I sit down. He said he'd talk to the police, Bill would talk to Deanna and the, and the ladies in the water department. But would I meet with the street and water uh, people that are out on the, you know, actually do the construction part. And so this was a nice, I went over the HR meeting and what we were gonna recommend and just an update. And then they brought up, you know, could we have some help with our health? It was, it was a great meeting, I thought. It was a nice exchange um, of what was important to them and if they could have some help. You know, even though we've only got 11 employees, it's always nice to have an advocate that understands the insurance. Um, because insurance companies, I can tell you after doing it all these years, they make mistakes and you really need an advocate that'll keep talking to them and asking them why they didn't pay something. So, um, so anyway, Mark, do you want to give us an update on that? Sure. Um, I've been working with Bill, and he's been very helpful in giving us the current information on the town's health insurance policy. We have three firms that are currently researching the marketplace for us. One is our current um, provider, and then the other two are Michiana Insurance and General Insurance, both here in Michigan City. 
what they're looking at is the overall cost to the town, the deductible for the employees, and then the total out of pocket for the employees as well. Um, they have what we currently pay as far as each employee and the town. And then um, we had every employee fill out a risk analysis. That more or less tells the um, prospective uh, insurance companies that will be quoting this what our overall risk factor is. Um, we have 11 employees that will be filling this out. They all have the risk um, applications. We have a goal to have those back in next Monday. I will then forward those off and we should have some information back in the next four to six weeks. Oh, great. Who's the third company, Mark? Um, it's our current provider. First source. First source. Yeah, first source. Okay. So it's first, I'm because I'm writing the notes down. First source, Michigan Insurance and General Insurance? Right. Okay. Yeah. So do you feel pretty good about it? I do. Uh, there's some options out there in the marketplace for us. A lot of it's going to come down looking at, you know, um, the total cost of the town, the deductibles for the employees. Um, it's been several years since we've actually done this. The timing is good to do it right now because it is a competitive market for, um, you know, health insurance and other types of insurance as well. We're doing the same thing with our cyber insurance policy. We have a couple different companies looking at that as well. So okay. we'll just have to wait to see. And then my recommendation would be once the information starts to come back in at our next HR meeting, I would like to have um, some of these uh, insurance companies possibly join us um, individually on our Zoom meetings, and then they can present the material. We'll get the material out to everyone in advance, and then we'll have um, uh, you know, one of our meetings for questions as well. That's great. Um, anybody have any questions for Mark? Yes. Um, I wanted to know, has anyone um, done a survey to find out what are some of the things that the um, employees like or don't like about their present insurance? And uh, and some of the things that they would like to see. Actually, that's how Mark got the I. I think that's how he got the idea. They they've talked to both of us about the deductible and some of the other features. So yeah. yes, yeah, okay. they did. So I talked to four of them, and Mark talked. Bill talked to the others, and then Mark talked to the police side. And Georgetta, okay. Georgetta also. Um, after personally talking to them, we also sent out an email to everyone and we've been asking them to email us with any additional concerns or questions as well. So we've we've actually approached them on two different occasions thus far. Great, you know, because that way that puts them on record uh, as to what their concerns were and some of the features that they liked. So yeah, that's good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, you know what I, I meant to say, I wanna go back to item one. I'm sorry I didn't write this down. Um, the other day, uh, when we had our Monday night meeting, which was a joint meeting uh, to approve some things, one of the things that Mike Johnstone and John Wall uh, emphasized to us that in the budget process, they need to know June, July, what, what we're going to forecast for a, uh, a general increase, I'm going to call it. So Pam, when we get ready, when you get ready to give us this estimate, do you think it's possible to have this survey done by the end of March? End of March? Uh-huh. Um, or, or let's say middle of April, because I promised them May and I always like to come in early. Well, right. I think we could target the end of March uh, and see how it goes. But I, I, yeah, I think we could do that. Okay, that sounds doable. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Do, do we have any old business? Bill? Hold it. Anybody? Um, sorry. I got rid of this. Um, well, the, the, the one thing that it, maybe it's old, maybe it's new, we have talked about it, but I think we should probably uh, consider for the future because we're going to do this. One of the one of the things that I've seen in other communities, and it's come up in ours, is that you add to the salary ordinance the ability to provide a, a an additional payment 
for people achieving, um, you know, achieving a, a, a particular certification, you know, whether it be the tree, the tree uh, arborist or something like that. And um, that, that would also allow us to, to provide a little extra and you can, we can do that. And it's acceptable to the, to the, to the um, state board of accounts to, to have that. And I don't know whether that's something that, that uh, actually bill that's interesting you brought that up because mark and i've been talking about that because when we had done a survey on our own a little earlier this year we noticed that there's different achievements as you yeah. i'm going to use the this will make me seem like a dinosaur but at the university of illinois if you my mother was a secretary but she knew shorthand so that was worth more money any of those little increments but the other thing uh, Pam, for your ears that we wanted to have in this survey, um, and I believe it was John Wall that brought it up, just when, when we're asking, I don't think it's a normal one like on the AIM survey, we want to know if people have, uh, for the longevity, let's say that you've had a, a milestone, maybe you're at 15 years of service, does ours right now, is, if I'm correct, Bill, is $100 a year for year of service? Right. Okay. After you've been here three years, then... Um, so what we wanted to find out is, does anybody, we don't, uh, we don't have to follow them, but we would just like to know what some of the other people are doing. So we would want that in there, the longevity pay. Okay. Right. Yeah. And I think in the, the one that's two years, <clears throat> excuse me, the one that's two years old, I think there is a section in there. Mark, isn't there on longevity? Which I'll go back. The aim? The aim yes. Is Yes. Okay. I'm okay. Cause all right. So, all right. So, um, good, good point, Bill, for the old business. Anything else? Oh. By the way, just as a, as a side, we should be, we should make sure that the, that the, that the awards that we provide are things that are kind of part of their job. Yeah, that are measurable. Not, not, you know, not I mean, I, a cooking I found, contest. Yeah. I have found out that, that Mark was the paper carrier of the year 40 years ago, Mark Swistick. And that's, <laughs> you know, while that's a, an admirable uh, award, I don't think we should really be paying for that. <laughs> I think it was probably <laughs> less stressful, Mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no, no, they can't get an extra for cooking award or something like that, but yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So any, the only public we have on, we've got John Wall, John Coker, and then Pam, does anybody have any comments? John? Yeah, the only thing I want to mention, Mary Lou, thanks for bringing up that longevity thing. Um, you know, we, we equalized the superintendents in the public works group, meaning the water guy and the street guy. Tom's been here 10 more years than Greg, so I, I was thinking it would be nice if the really long, term people, meaning there's really only two of them that have been here as long as time. That's schooly and time. If, if there's a way to accelerate that longevity bonus for the people that have been here for those kinds of years, I think that would be beneficial. So my, my kind of my proposal would be, you know, your first 10 years, you get the hundred dollars a year, your second 10 years, you get $200 a year and your third 10 years, you get $300 a year just to make it simple. If there's another way to do it, that's fine. But I think it'd be nice to, well, let us find out if, you know, what, Mark, does Michigan City have a graduated index? They do it uh, up to 25 years of service, and it's 1% for every year of service. So up to 25% of your base pay. So it's pretty substantial there. Oh. So they have, they have one of the more generous longevity programs that I've ever seen. Okay. Most and, are similar to what we do in the town here already, but John's proposal is very reasonable in that. So I think when we get the um, results back from some of the other towns and that, then we make a recommendation to the council, you know, in okay. the next few months. And Pam, keep this in mind. Mark has a, he's a great at networking. He's got a great relationship with uh, LaPorte County, with uh, Michigan City, and I think even LaPorte. So um, he's a, he's good at networking. I think he goes once a month to some kind of breakfast where they exchange information or he's really good with the uh, emails and finding out information for us. He has the contacts. Well, I just might sign him up to help me out with a few, you know, a few places. I, 
I think I'm going to develop a, an actual um, questionnaire, I think. And okay. Go with that. And, uh, you know, if he's got a better contact, uh, because I don't have any, I do have a few contacts, but I, uh, I get all of those contacts through AIM. Okay. And, uh, so, um, yeah, that would be great. I would appreciate that. Well, I, actually, this Pat, it was either, like, I just told Mark yesterday or today when I was talking to him, through AIM, I've got a thing that, and it's it's a schedule, like Bill said, if you're an art, if you've got your certification for an arborist, or if you've got your next license, and I saved it, because I thought, oh, we can look at that and see, so. Where did you, where did you get that? I think it came from AIM. I'll find it. And send it. That's what I was going to say. If you want to have these graduated things for accomplishments related to your job that you know certifications or whatever they are i would like to see a list of what those are i mean, okay. I, don't know. I, mean I mean i can't it's not somebody that i it's not somebody up in northwest indiana i believe uh but i i get everything like do they want to know about the garbage here i'm not sure how i got on it some of it's pretty interesting it's just their policy well, well that um, personnel association network is really good too. Yeah. So that's, um, that's a great tool. Our next meeting is Thursday, March third, and um, I think in the the February meeting we are going to talk about committees because we're one person short. And since Bill's a resident, I'm assuming his life's pretty boring. He'll still come on and help us, right, Bill? That's true. That's All right. True. So, um, if anybody, if you, nothing else, then I need a motion for an adjournment. Right. So move. Okay. Thanks, Georgetta. I'll second. I'll second. Yeah. Okay, Bill second it. All right, thanks, everybody. All right. Okay, take care. Be safe. Thanks, Georgetta. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.